mine kind of sucks. See, I'm like sewing a regular flat thing, but it starts pinching. And from here, you can see that I've got one side of my stitch is uh, blue and one is red. And if you look really closely at the puckering edges, I see the red thread coming up more, which means my tension is off. Um, tension can also look like a big mess of thread on the back of your uh, seam, or it, it can mess up, it can get really tight, scrunch up your material a whole lot, or be really, really loose. What tension is, is these aren't hooking right, basically. So we have a couple different adjustments we can do with tension. Tension changes depending on the thickness of your fabric sometimes, or if you have a really messed up bobbin, like it's not threaded very well. So let's touch up on how to adjust your tension Your main tension dial, and it's especially true for the top thread, is right here. Um, most machines have numbers on them. Some are so old that they just wore off or the numbers broke off or something. Um, but basically it starts at zero, and if you turn it around, it has all the different numbers going up to nine, I believe. Right here in red, that's what your average tension is supposed to be. It's not always that case. Sometimes it's a little lower. Sometimes it's a little higher. Right now, mine is working perfectly at the sixth. Um, if you go to a different tension, it may screw up. So you, you don't mess with the tension dial unless it is screwing up on your fabric. Um, but to adjust, it's, it's kind of a matter of trial and error. Uh, one thing that I found that's important when you're trying to adjust that tension to get the perfect tension is you only move it a quarter to a half a number or in between the number at a time. Just a tiny little bit to see how it behaves and so again. So you change it to that, you see how it sews, and see if it has worked itself out. All right, and then you check again. You sew for a little bit, a few inches. See if it fixed itself. Now, this is, of course, the bobbin. This is the bobbin. The bobbin has another type of tension. Usually we fix the top because it's a lot easier to tell the differences in the tension. But with the bottom bobbin, there's a little tiny screw. My bobbin is working okay, so I don't really want to mess with it, but normally, you put a little screwdriver, like one of those screwdrivers for um, glasses in there, and you just turn it just a slight bit, and then you see how it sews. And then you just turn it a slight bit again, and you see how it sews, and you turn it back, and so on and so forth until you get it right. So, tension is really just a matter of trial and error. At least it is for me because I don't think there is any perfect tension.